Mere real-time RAN intelligent controller, and the X apps. One of the main operations, assigned to the near RT RIC, is radio resource management. The near RT RIC controls RAN elements, and their resources with optimization actions that typically take, 10 milliseconds to 1 second to complete. To this end, near RT RIC control, is steered by the policies, and assisted by models computed, and trained by the non RT RIC. Basically, it receives policy guidance from the non RT RIC wire A1 interface. The near RT RIC is comprised of two sub functions. One is, near RT RIC framework and, the another is, X apps. Near RT RIC framework platform, which includes the platform capabilities, such as, X app subscription management, conflict mitigation, database, security, AIML, messaging infrastructure, A1 termination, O1 termination, A2 termination, and few others. On the other side, near RT RIC applications or simply the X apps, are the modular applications that leverage the functionality exposed by the near RT RIC framework. In simple words, X apps are the optimization algorithms that can come from same or different vendors. The X apps collaborate with the near RT RIC platform functions to support various specialized use cases. How X app works? Large amount of data, counters, statistics, failure information are available with L1, L2, L3 protocol stack of A node B, or G node B, which is collected, and used for data features, and models can be learned or abstracted to empower intelligent management, and control the RAN using data analytics, and artificial intelligence. Some of the example models includes, network spatial temporal traffic patterns, user mobility patterns, service patterns along with the corresponding prediction, network quality of service prediction patterns, massive MIMO parameters configuration, and more can be reused, abstracted or learned. This abstracted or learned information can then be combined with additional network-wide context, and policies can be framed to drive fine-grained network operations, like radio resource management, load balancing, ID allocations, handover decisions, and a lot more. These core algorithms developed using AIML, which are called X apps, could be owned by network service provider, some aspects of which may be proprietary. This provides the capability to modify the RAN behaviors by deploying different policies and models optimized to individual operator intents and objectives. Now, let's see how the near RT RIC framework components support X apps and complete ecosystem to achieve those optimization objectives. Let's start with messaging infrastructure, which provides low latency message delivery service between near RT RIC internal endpoints. It supports registration, discovery, deletion of endpoints. It provides the API for sending messages to the messaging infrastructure, an API for receiving messages from the messaging infrastructure real-time streaming modes, message routing and message robustness to avoid data loss during a messaging infrastructure. Basically, it acts as the communication between the X apps and the different components of the platform. Next is, X app subscription management service, which manages subscriptions from X apps to E2 nodes. For its operations, X apps needs variety of data from E2 nodes, and, X app subscription management services enables merging of identical subscriptions from different X apps into a single subscription toward an E2 node. And it enforces authorization of policies controlling X app access to those information and the messages. And this service has access to platform database also. Next is, database services, which allows reading and writing of RAN or UA information and other information required to support specific use cases. The near RT RIC and some X apps may generate or access UA related information or network related information to be stored in the database. It also stores the configurations and near real time information relating to connected E2 nodes and the mappings between them. Now the question comes, what if there are multiple X apps, one is doing optimization of performance, and other is doing energy optimization, in that way, both X apps conflicts in terms what parameters to be provisioned are changed. 
There comes conflict mitigation service. Conflict mitigation is about addressing conflicting interactions between different X apps. An application will typically change one or more parameters with the objective of optimizing a specific metric. Conflict mitigation is necessary because X apps objectives may be chosen configured such that they result in conflicting actions. For example, a conflict mitigation component needs to make the final determination on whether any specific change is made or in which order the changes are applied. Or it can decide to revert the changes done by the one X app, which affects the objective of another X apps. Next is security service. The security function given in this section only applies to near RTRIC. One of the targets is to prevent malicious X apps from abusing radio network information, for example, exporting to unauthorized external systems and or control capabilities over RAN functions. Basically, it should not happen that X app, supplied by some vendor, is trying to exploit the system, or hack the system. So, security plays very crucial role here and a lot of focus is being given to it. Now, there are other functions in the near RTRIC platform which plays a small, but important roles in the ecosystem. Like, X app repository function. It performs the selection of X apps for the A1 message routing based on policy type and operator policies. Basically, it is a repository of X apps. AI and ML support function, which has AI ML data pipelines in near RTRIC, which offers data ingestion and data preparation for X app applications and also offers training of the X apps. Apart from these functions, there are few terminations in the framework. As we know, non-RTRIC sends A1 policies and enrichment information to the near RTRIC, so A1 termination provides a generic API for this information communication. Next is O1 termination, which communicates with SMO via O1 interface and exposes O1 related management services from near RTRIC. E2 termination is used for communication towards E2 nodes, such as OCUCP, OCUUP, ODU which are the RAN functions. This completes the understanding of near RTRIC framework components and X apps. Now, we can summarize all these learnings with one simple example. Let's use traffic steering as one example and how near RTRIC implements balanced optimization for this use case. The rapid traffic growth and multiple frequency bands utilized in a commercial network make it challenging to steer the traffic in a balanced distribution. The traditional approach to traffic steering is that all users are treated in the same way, which means that handover or cell reselection decisions are taken based on average KPI values. As a result, traffic steering rules are limited to these old settings. And users are not mapped to the cell sites as per their actual experience. To overcome this issue, ORAN Alliance identified traffic steering as one of the use cases to be addressed by the X apps. The main idea is to deploy X apps that will support custom UA centric traffic steering strategies dedicated for various mobile traffic scenarios, like user assignment to base stations that takes into account traffic types, voice or mobile broadband cell types, radio technology type, slice type, and few others. It helps connecting voice users to the lower frequency cells and connecting high data users to the small cells with high frequency. Thus traffic steered in efficient way. Now, let's cover the flow of the information and controls. Non-RTRIC passes the A1 policies to the near RTRIC where X apps receives these policies and efficiently steer the traffic by controlling the E2 nodes. And the impact is observed in the closed loop manner via O1 interface. This covers the traffic steering use case example and closed loop control via near RTRIC. Hope you are able to understand high level functionality of near RTRIC.